Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. This puddle is disappearing in front of your eyes, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file says, can you really extract water from sand? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a glass jar, some sand, some water, a plastic cup, some plastic wrap, a rock, and a rubber band. Hi, I'm going to show you how to extract water from sand. So, the first thing you're going to need is one of these large pickle jars. And then you want to get yourself a couple handfuls of sand, which is smaller than a jar full which is smaller than a bag full, which is smaller than a butt load. <laughs> and then you're gonna pour your sand into your jar. And of course, you wanna get yourself a few milliliters of, yeah, that's right, water. What did you think I was gonna say, gelatin? Pour your water into the jar like this. Then place your empty cup in the jar. And now you're going to seal this off with some plastic wrap. <laughs> then put a rock in the center. And finally use a rubber band to seal everything tight. <laughs> now you're going to leave this outside. Now hold on before some of you go and say, Hey Chris, I tried it. It didn't work. I did exactly what you did and it didn't work. Listen, you got to put this outside on a hot and sunny day. And you're going to leave it there for two hours. But you know, you can fill the time, you know, by watching a a comedic science show, you know, online. Now check this out! You can see water in the cup there! Now that's so wicked cool! So, how does the water get into the cup? And, if it's evaporation, how does evaporation work? Well, don't look at me! Take a closer look at this. Water is a strange form of matter. It's never really fully liquid, and it's never really fully solid. The outer layer of water molecules are always vibrating faster than the inner layer of molecules. The outer layer of water molecules absorb the energy from the sun. This energy causes the outer layer of water molecules to vibrate extremely fast. So fast that they break their bonds and bounce off the water molecules until they bounce high enough that they begin to bounce around in the molecules of air that make up our atmosphere. When this happens, we call it evaporation. When the atoms hit the plastic wrap, they lose energy and recombine to form water molecules until you get water droplets. These water droplets build up until eventually they get so heavy they fall off the plastic wrap and into the cup. About 1,200 cubic kilometers of water evaporates from the Earth's surface every day, and an equal amount returns to the surface. The water on Earth is about 3 billion years old, so the water you drink today could have once been swallowed by a dinosaur 200 million years ago. So now you know more about molecular evaporation. You know, evaporating water into a cup is why science is so cool. You know why we're two watches? Well, the answer is...